now it's going to take the exit. Are you prepared for this? Yeah, it as long the- as it doesn't do it at 70 miles an hour. Mm. Narrow lanes. All right, I didn't mean for this challenge to be so ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't realize there was all this going on. I should have done this challenge. It's like an obstacle course. Wow. Okay. I don't want to. I don't this want challenge to. is not going to last very long. Can we find a Tim Hortons? Oh, seriously, I was like counting on that. Otherwise, I would have drank one of my coffees at home. Yes, but we need to do the intro first. Okay, but by the time we do the intro, we'll probably be past all the Tim Hortons. No, we won't. It'll be fast. <laughs> What's up, guys? Back again with another test of the challenge. But uh, you can see I'm in the passenger seat because the car is driving itself. No, it's not. But we're here with Stephanie and baby. She's sleeping, maybe I shouldn't be yelling. So I'm used to using Navigate and Autopilot all the time. It takes me on ramp to off ramp. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it messes up. Um, but we're gonna see if my wife will trust it uh, because I'm a Tesla nerd, I'm all about it. If it is a little weird, I don't care. I'll just let it do its thing. But I don't know. Do you think you can let it go all the way? I honestly don't know because you're more of a risk taker than I am. I'm like super cautious and so I don't know. We'll see. I'll try. Okay. So once we get on the highway, challenge starts. I'm changing the rules a tiny bit. I'm going to let Stephanie intervene one time. So I don't know how many miles it is, maybe 20 miles or so on the highway. Once we get on and she turns on autopilot, she's gonna set her speed, she's gonna set her following distance. From there on, she's gonna try not to interact with the car at all, just have a hand on the steering wheel. If she needs to intervene at all, uh, usually when I do it, that's a fail. I'm gonna give her one chance to correct what the car is doing, put autopilot back on or whatever she has to do, uh, but that's it. If she has to mess with the car twice, then the car fails, it doesn't pass the test. You know, Tesla tells us it'll go on ramp to off ramp, um, but will someone who's not a big nerd about Tesla trust it enough? Well, I, am I allowed to talk to you, like get help from you if I'm worried about something? Oh yeah, the, okay. the only rule is you keep your hand on the steering wheel, because that's what Tesla says you have to do, and pay attention. But I'm gonna be drinking my coffee. Well, and I that's wanna... one hand, and the other hand's on the steering but wheel. But one hand to hold the cup, and the other hand to put my straw in the whipped cream. What good is autopilot if you can't eat your whipped cream off your coffee? Okay, so we're about to get on the highway here. We set it up so um, the settings are average for lane changes. It's not Mad Max. That's normally what I use. And uh, do you watch, have you seen my challenge videos? Yes. So you know what's up? Yep. All right, so once you turn it on, uh, you set your speed and just let the car do its thing. Okay. Is it on? No. How do I? <laughs> Come on, you know how to turn it on. Do I have to push? Oh, autopilot. I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, navigate and autopilot is on. But it, it just went away. There you go. Now you want to set your speed? Uh, sure. Okay. Just let it do its thing. Yeah, pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> it's, it's doing a good job. Um, and then set your speed with the right scroll wheel. Uh, we'll go to like 74. 74? Yeah. And then following distance, left and right on the right scroll. No, the right scroll. There you go. So that's one. Um, last time that I did autopilot, one was still like pretty far back. Right, so you want one? Yeah. Dang. I do two. I just don't want one. That's pretty crazy. I can right. do two. Well, I just... It, it's set. But, but didn't, touch it anymore. didn't in an update, didn't it, um... Didn't it change the distance? You are well informed. Yes. Okay. One is farther than it used to be. So I can make it two then. Wait, it's farther? Yeah, one is farther than it used to be. Yeah, you'll be good. Okay, so we change this up a little bit. We're not going straight. We're going to my mom's house and we're not going straight there. We're going to go to Tim Hortons. <laughs> so the car only has to make it to um, nine miles to the next exit. Still, it's got to do a good job doing that. Um, and then pause autopilot challenge, yeah. get coffee, resume autopilot yes. challenge. Get back on, we'll turn it back on, it's gotta finish the journey. Um, so it is the weekend, there won't be a whole ton of traffic, um, but we'll see. Hopefully it's it's good enough, it gets wife approval. With baby. Oh, wait a second. Do you wanna pick the music? Yeah.
I'm just thinking when we get to all the exits and the people are merging on. Oh, yeah. That'll scare me. So will, will autopilot take me off the expressway, pull me up to Tim Hortons, order me a coffee, then go back to the expressway? No. <laughs> Maybe we can use some arson to go through the drive through What is it doing? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I had a little freak out there. That was weird. Was it, was it going to exit? I don't know. Oh, I didn't do anything, I wasn't really but looking. I was panicking. Oh, yeah, that was weird. I wasn't really looking at screen. Well, good job. You didn't take over, so the challenge is still on. I'm just so used to, in my Equinox, having the little blind spot light. Um, but I guess, like, just looking at this, I have a blind spot. Like, it'll show me all the cars that are around, so. Right, if there's a car here, and now you can do this, and look around. But it, it's not showing me this van. No, it's not. That's weird. Stealth van. Yeah, that's super weird. I don't know why it's not showing them. Um, but yeah, if he was right next to us, and you tried to turn your turn signal on, uh-oh. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't <laughs> want to. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't like it. Whoa, what happened? Did I exit out of it? Yeah. It was all taking right, that's your one takeover. It was taking way too long and they were all expecting me to move over. That's your one <laughs> this challenge is not gonna last very long. Alright, put it back on. It wasn't getting over fast enough. Like they were expecting me. But they were expecting me to move over and they're like, why is this person? But that's, oh, that's that good. misrepresenting Tesla, then. <laughs> what? It's perfectly See, look, this Tesla. minivan is, like, pissed at me. And she's like, what the hell was that back now there, man? Alright, now it's got to get over for this exit. I'm still laughing. Um, it's got to get over for this exit. <laughs> See this line? That means it knows it wants to get over. Alright, it's doing it. Make sure you have some force on the wheel. And you do. And here it goes. Very nice, right? It's still a little scary. <laughs> I'm crying over here. All right, now it's going to take the exit. You prepared for this? Yeah, Once it as long as it doesn't do it at 70 miles an hour. Once it takes the exit, let, let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. There you go. And now you can take over whenever you want. It did okay. its job. All right, so okay. on, ramp, on ramp to off ramp. <laughs> Push up on the stock. <laughs> on, on, Gosh, I'm laughing so hard. On ramp to off for nine miles. We had one intervention. That wasn't great. But uh, we'll get back on and we'll try again. This is the interlude to the challenge. That was part one. Now it's like in the old movie theaters when you take a break and go get your snacks or whatever. That's what this part is. An interlude? Yeah. It's called intermission. There you go. This is the intermission. An interlude is like... <laughs> A break in music, like in a song, yeah, a there's break. no singing, it's just like an instrumental Isn't that what I just type. said? A break? Uh-oh. What? The baby's awake. Go to sleep back there. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> no! Tesla power. Because you never know what's going to happen. we got to get our commentary on point. This is our practice for New York. Just kidding, guys. This is not an autopilot challenge. It's a Tim Hortons commercial. Can I help you? Hi. Um, can I have a small ice cap supreme and a small ice cap? Right? I didn't want anything, but that's fine. Oh, you don't? Oh, look. You can park. Hit, hit. Can you get the credit card out or like do anything helpful right now as the passenger? I'm vlogging. That's the helpful thing. Here, hold this vlogging camera. Uh-oh. Oh, it's in my purse. Okay. <laughs> I was like... I was like, no, I can't get it out. I don't have it. Our credit card got So we are credit cardless. We're heading back to the highway. And we're going to turn autopilot on. And Stephanie, what do you want to do? 
I want to get to the middle lane, then let it take over. All right, so we're going to grant another allowance. That was actually pretty weird. Normally, when cars are merging on, in my experience, it senses them super early, like almost way too early, uh, and starts to slow to allow them to come on, and it didn't seem to see them at all. So, but And Tim Hortons did not put chocolate syrup on my my ice cap supreme so i'm very angry yep you hear that tim hortons we're leaving a bad review on yelp okay what do i do get to wherever you want to be and then turn it on oh right, welcome back to tesla challenge oh wait where did that? the speed you want to have turn it on now set your speed before you got your follow distance all right that's it <laughs> maybe it's because my follow distance was one instead oh, of two yeah, so can i make it two, two? Yeah, We're gonna try this. Give it a shot. If you're not comfortable, then don't do it. That's kind of the whole point of the challenge, right? Right. Just gotta do a good job. Yep. Tesla. It was very stressful. 
for my wife to be driving this car. <laughs> it was hilarious though. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, but yeah. The I, only I, thing that was stressful is the merge, the traffic merging on. Like I, I need you to see that there's traffic merging on sooner and move me over because like it's stressful for the person trying to merge on even though I know legally I don't have to I don't have to move over for them at all but it's stressful because the the Tesla actually the the car in front of me it got over for them and as soon as that car was gone the Tesla sped up to go up to 70 because before we were going like 60 so it's like it like went way up to like not c cut that person off you know what I mean like so I normally don't experience that at all normally for me it detects them super stupidly early and slows way down even when I should be passing them so I don't know it's it I mean I saw I agree with you it wasn't very good mm -hmm. um, but like if you look at some of my old videos it never does that it never uh, is in the way of somebody coming onto the highway. So pretty strange, but that's it. We're gonna end it here. Uh, comment below what you think of that. And uh, we're just gonna normally drive to our destination. I'm gonna relax here in the passenger seat. Do you have anything to say? I'm sad I didn't do it.